Hey, Chris, you guys were able to generate some good chances, got a few things going offensively, but did it feel like your team struggled to match their intensity through 60 tonight? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty on the nose. Um, I mean, they, they play up tempo, they play fast, they stretch the ice out. We saw it the first time we played them, but that's a team that's coming off a two week break. Um, I realize they probably were pretty excited to get back to playing hockey, but I mean, that's an unacceptable start um, for the majority of the game. They out-hit hit us, out-skated us, out-worked us, won more battles. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the chances aside, uh, we got away from the things that we were doing well. Um, they just they flat out wanted it more, and it's, I mean, it's unacceptable. Next question comes from Dan Rosen with NHL.com. Dan, go ahead. Yeah, Chris, I mean, you said a lot right there, but this is a team, your team was looking to take a step this year. You played 14 games, you have four wins. I wonder, why do you think it's such a slog right now for you guys to just find a way to get some points? Like, what is it about, what's not clicking right now? 13 of those games, in my mind, were a step backwards to take two steps, three steps, a giant leap forward. Um, I mean, we corrected a lot of the things that we were doing pretty poorly last year from a defensive side. And we were doing those things defensively consistently. And to have gotten away from it tonight, uh, I mean, it's just a massive opportunity wasted. And we, we all have to we all have to hate this feeling. I know I, I sound like a broken record. I've sat here and said this over and over, but um, I mean, you can't you can't do some things well and then get away from it and you know be excited because you generated a little offense you, you, you got to build on the foundation and the most upsetting thing is that we got away from those things that we were doing well tonight and last one for chris comes from mike Mancuso. so mike go ahead chris how much more does it hurt that when you are struggling to score goals, you aren't able to generate any power play opportunities in a particular game. I imagine that that hurts as well. Yeah. Um, it certainly doesn't help. Uh, I mean, it's something that we've been talking about and working on a lot the last few days. And the way it's going, we would go a full 60 without, without drawing one. Um, Honestly, that's probably a, a result of the things I said earlier, of you know waiting to skate, of losing battles, of not being physical. I mean, there were obviously some shifts where we, we were buzzing on, in the in, in the offensive zone a little bit, and um, we kind of looked like ourselves. Our D were activating, but um, obviously it's not enough. I mean, to go a full 60 minutes without without drawing a power play. Um, I mean that that to me just screams that we're we're not doing the right things um, away from the puck to support each other to to put ourselves in positions to draw penalties. Um, I'm sure there might have been a couple calls that were that were missed, but there's always a couple calls that are missed both ways, and um, obviously we took a few. So I mean, for us, it's got to you know the, the entire group, each guy's got to hold themselves accountable and. Um, Want the puck, demand the puck, demand the puck with our with our skating. And um, I mean, we we got we got to do a better job of tilting the ice. We can't do it in spurts. I, I mean, like I said, the, the the most upsetting thing is that we got away from the things that we were doing well, and just we we're listless and lifeless, and it's it's unacceptable, and um, has to be better. Has to be better going forward. It starts with. I mean, it doesn't start around with anyone. It's every single guy in that room. We all have to be better, and we all know it.